Hello everyone, this is Lucy. Today's recipe is Puerto Rican heavy rice soup with pigeon peas and smoked ham. We call this recipe a sopa de arroz y gandules. This soup will have a smoky flavor, so I'm putting to boil in my slow cooker four ham hooks with about eight cups of water. You can also boil them in your stove for about two hours or until they are fully tender. Next morning, I remove the ham hooks from the broth. Leaving the broth in the pot because in that broth I'm going to boil or slow cook for about 45 minutes my pigeon peas. cover and let them cook. In the meantime, I'm going to remove anything I don't want to see in my soup, that's bones, skin, or fat from the ham hooks. Removing any piece I can find of fat. Then I'm going to shred the meat and put it to the side until I have to use it. Also, I'm going to be preparing a sofrito. I dice one large red onion. You can use yellow, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to blend together six or seven mini sweet peppers. It doesn't matter if they are green, red, or orange. One tablespoon of oregano, it can be fresh or it can be dry. About six to eight culantro leaves. This give the Puerto Rican authentic flavor. And about six garlic cloves. Also, one long green pepper. Make sure you remove the seeds before you chop it off. Put in your blender cup with about two tablespoons of olive oil. Blend it together and you have your sofrito. Now in a deep frying pan with about two tablespoons of olive oil, I'm going to saute the onions until they become translucent. When they are translucent and soft, I add the sofrito mixture. Mix it all up and then add one can of tomato sauce. Let it cook for about two minutes. My pigeon peas should be ready by now after 45 minutes. And you can tell when you press one of them, it's really soft and tender. Now I'm going to return the meat to the broth with the pigeon peas. i also going to add the sofrito. Now this is optional. I add about four fresh basil leaves and that's because I grow them in my backyard. And about one teaspoon of curry powder. Make sure that if you use the curry powder, it's the sweet kind. Taste for salt before adding salt. And I'm adding about half of a tablespoon of salt and one cup of rice. Now cover the slow cooker and let it cook for about 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, the soup is ready to be served. I'm serving my soup with some tostones on the side. I hope you like this recipe and that you subscribe to come back to see me again. 
I see you in my next video. Buen provecho. Bye bye.